One of the issues that you will face in virtually any meta-analysis is the problem of taxonomy. If only everyone was using the same measurements for the same constructs and they were transparent about how their variables were measured. But because meta-analysis is kind of retroactive, meaning most studies have already been done and you just have the final results, we have to do the best we can with the tools we have. So let's see how you set up your taxonomy in HubMeta. This is the main variable structure or taxonomic structure of HubMeta. You usually end up with a lot of different measurements uh, that have been coded by yourself or your uh, collaborators in your project. So after you finish data entry, you'd have to deal with a lot of different measurements. You can't possibly run a meta-analysis with hundreds, if not thousands of different measurements. So you have to group them into meaningful uh, groups, uh, which we call constructs in HubMeta. So we have a three-level variable structure in HubMeta. At the bottom level, we have the measurements, which come directly from your articles, which you have coded. So this should match exactly how they were defined in the original article. And then based on theoretical analysis, similarity analysis, uh, whatever different methods that would make sense in your field, you would have to group these together and put them under the same construct. So in other words, these are different ways you are measuring this concept. So for example, if you're taking this construct to be a uh, financial performance, you might either measure it through return on investment or return on sales or any other financial measurement that is used. And then you would go ahead and create another constructs to group another set of measurements. So after you group your measurements into constructs, you might feel comfortable running your analysis right then, basically running meta-analysis between different constructs, or you might want to do yet another level of grouping between constructs, which we call group constructs. Like for example, if uh, this was a financial performance, construct two was subjective performance. The two groups could be called performance in general. So it might make sense your project to provide findings at different levels. Let's see how you do this within HubMeta and look at an actual example. 